All right, I have my helper today, Little Engineer 775. He's helping me do a little surveying. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm using this sight surface level. It's a little $15 contraption. I use it all the time to basically pick a level. So if you want to figure out the elevation uh, from point to point, this is a great little tool. So I'm out here picking the spot. I'm trying to get an idea of what my static water level is going to be before I drill a well. The only reason I really can get close to knowing what it's going to be is I've already drilled a hand auger well, a hand well by uh, using an auger, and my static is around 16 feet, I believe, on this. I'm going to pull this out and measure it. But So I'm going from here up to where my sun is, and I'm actually shooting through this and leveling it up at the bottom of where he is standing. So from my eye to where he is standing is right at the bottom of his feet. And so that for me is about 70 inches, just kind of rounding off just for easy calculation. So from my eyes to the bottom of my feet, it's about 70 inches. And so I'm gonna go up there to where he's at. And so the elevation from that spot down there to where Elijah's feet are is 70 inches. Good job, mister. Now, you're going to walk up the hill again, straight up there like you did, and I'm going to tell you when to stop. You keep going, okay? So he's walking up there, so we have gone 70 inches in elevation. Keep going, you got a long ways to go. Keep going, mister. A little faster. Run. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. You got a long ways to go. Watch out for those fire ants. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You got a long ways to go. All right, we're getting close. Okay, stop. Turn around. That's perfect. Perfect. So at the bottom of his feet, I'm going to walk up to him. That's another 70 inches. So we've come up a 140 inches. Just divide that by 12 to get your feet. You did awesome. You did awesome. Now go, I want you to go up a little bit more. See, hey, see that rock in the woods by the tree? See that? There's a piece of granite there by the tree. Can you see it? Uh, granite. It's not granite. It's quartz. Over here. See that white rock right up there? See it? Go walk right over to that white rock. Now this is an area that I want to drill the well, and uh, and so I'm actually right on that. Hey Elijah, you're good. I'm just going to use that rock as a reference. That's another. Yeah, stand right at that rock. So that'll give me. That's close enough. And again, this is rough surveying, <laughs> and um, give me an idea. So. So what we did is three times 70 to the bottom of Elijah's feet there. So we're 210 inches in elevation from that previous spot, from my previous well. So that's what you do. You just kind of start in the low area and you work your way up using one of these nifty little surface levels. And uh, again, I think I was Ace Hardware Online. It might have been $17 for this you probably find it cheaper but uh, it's a great way to get elevation I've usually got within a foot of elevation and a lot of the GPS's aren't accurate in doing they're great horizontally but not vertically so I have always used this to uh, on consults and helping people put in ram pumps or figure out what kind of pump they need um, to pump their groundwater uh, whether it's to a storage tank or pressure tank or to an elevated tank this little gizmo uh, is what I use. So anyway, I just want to share that tool, another prepper tip on uh, shooting elevations. Thanks for watching.